you don't play, you don't play. Um, for me, I think that when first looking at the question, really the one thing that came to my mind was experiences. And reason being is because there really is no substance without experience. The reason why I say that is because some of the greatest minds in the world picture things theoretically. But as you find out in life, like when you begin to picture things theoretically, things often don't go that way unless you have the experience to back that theory. So for me, I can definitely point to the um, the experience aspect. Like. Uh, I think a lot of what has made me as the person I am today are the hardships that I experienced leaving that theoretical mind frame and actually going into a mind frame that resolves more around the experience, the genuineness of the experience and all the emotions and, and ups and downs that come with those experiences. Um, so for me, I'll honestly say that, you know, going from, you know, year whatever year you know, if you want to say you develop your personality within, you know, the first two months of your life. Uh, from two months up until like maybe my 20s, I would say like I have a false sense of my character. I didn't really know what I liked. And I think a lot of what I liked was contingent upon what the people around me may have liked. You know, I, I grew up um, a lot of time under my mom and my sister and my dad as well, but my dad spent a lot of time out to sea. But I felt like as I was able to branch off and like truly fortify what it is I like. I definitely can say that as far as my inner child goes, like there are key components of that, whether it be, you know, Star Wars or whether it be the video games or whatever. Those are like, I don't think they fall into any of the personality values or experiences. I think they, as far as just things that I truly like, like those things remain the same. And I think they show or shine some light onto, you know, kind of what my personality may hold. But I would honestly say that my character and what makes me who I am didn't truly blossom until I got to experience the world for myself. Because I think at a young age, unless you have the parents who give you that freedom to experience life for itself, I think we have this false perception or false sense of what, you know, the world has to offer and, you know, what we have to offer to the world.